The Nelson Atkins Museum of Art in Kansas City in the United States has collected a large number of Chinese bronzeware. Among them are two fancy bronze animals in the standing position. With deep eye sockets and mouth sticking up and inlaid with a gold motif, they raise their arms upwards, looking very serious. One of them has a piece missing in the right arm. They have a peculiar name, and zoo. But what does that mean? Look at the bronze animals. They raise their arms as if supporting something. But on their heads are edges at right angles. The edges are very narrow, perhaps unable to have a cup placed on it. If the two edges combine, it might accommodate a cup. But the support is too high to keep a cup steady, and it is not easy to place and take the cup. Comparing with the frequently seen wine vessels and water containers of the Eastern Zhou period in the 7th century BC, the two bronze animals seem too small. It is apparently not used to support a cup. What is it then? Exquisitely made, the two bronze animals are similar to a candlestick holder in height and size. The shape of ancient Chinese candlestick holders varies and is very decorative. Craftspeople often rack their brains in their design. But careful observation may find the top of a candlestick holder should be slightly concave shape, just like a small plate to which the molten candle will drip. But the two bronze animals do not have such plates. If a candle is put on it, the candle drippings would fall onto the body of the animals. This is not correct either. Ritual objects were used by nobles on such occasions as offering sacrifices and rituals for burial during the Xia, Shang, and Zhou dynasties. Bronze ritual objects in the Zhou dynasty included tableware, wine vessels, water containers, and musical instruments. But the two bronze animals look like none of those. It turns out that the two bronze animals are part of a chessboard stand. There should have been four such animals, each supporting one quarter of the chessboard, to keep it steady in position. That is why it is called an anzu, which means to keep something firm and secure in position. In ancient China, many objects such as screens, chessboards, and tea tables had stands made of bronze to make them beautiful and to keep them firmly in position. Usually the bronze stands were made in the shape of a bear, a tiger, or other figures. The Hebei Provincial Museum has collected a stand made of the shape of a tiger that is gobbling a deer in its mouth. It is a stand for fixing a screen. The two animal shaped stands in the Nelson Atkins Museum of Art are the stands for supporting a chessboard. They can raise the level of the chessboard and they show the noble capacity of the owner.